Well, hello there, it's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com and today we're going to be looking at the rest of our Studio Ghibli sets. Um, so it's a little bit of a bittersweet video uh, again, mostly because, uh, you know, a few reasons. They just aren't making these anymore. There are there are a couple of Studio Ghibli sets that just came out actually, like in the last couple of weeks. I didn't pick either one up yet uh, for a variety of reasons, but mostly because uh, on the Discord there's a people doing a group buy of a case, and I didn't participate in it, but the trading card collector did, so I know he's going to get a bunch of the boxes. So I'm kind of waiting to see what they look like before I pick them up myself because they didn't look that great in the flyers. Uh, but if they are amazing, I will, of course, grab them. Um, but these older sets that I have here were excellent. Like, these were some of the top trading card sets available, you know, a couple years ago uh, when I bought them. Unfortunately, they are all out of sale now. You might occasionally find a box, maybe this box in particular will show up on eBay once in a while. Uh, but Moon Cards box here, I, I've never seen anywhere else. The older... Uh, Ghibli Museum sets I haven't seen anywhere else. Uh, and then this is, of course, the very, very first. This is like the original uh, Mitaka Museum pre-release -re pre set. So this is like before they even started making the proper series of it. Uh, this box, of course, uh, sold out a long, long time ago. The green box here. I used to have a sealed box of this in my giveaway pile, but somebody won it in, a, in one of the giveaways. I think the 1000, no, no, the uh, 666 giveaway. Um, so I don't have it anymore. So this is all that I have. And so we are going to be opening up all of this today. So all the packs and all of these we're going to open and look at. And then, um, oh yeah, I wanted to show you also some of my top uh, Studio Ghibli pulls ever, including this, uh, which is a GD gold coin card. So that is a gold coin uh, inside of a, a trading card. Th these sell on eBay. You'll see them there every once in a while. Uh, I've actually never seen the Totoro. So this is the My Neighbor Totoro one. Uh, I have never seen that one uh, on for sale, but some of the other ones I've seen and they'll sell for three to $500. So these can go for quite a lot of money. I mean, the coin alone is probably worth uh, a couple hundred dollars. So, uh, you know, having it in such a beautiful card is also worth quite a bit. And as you can see, they are numbered. So they were limited to 188. So there aren't that many of these in the entire world. Uh, and I pulled one. I pulled it actually from a box of MH02, which is uh, the Ghibli Museum Mitaka set, the second full set. So not the pre-release -re pre full set, but the full set. Um, there were like seven different boxes of this. So yeah, it's this blue box is where I pulled this coin. Uh, so if you want one of these, you got to buy these boxes, if you can even find them. Uh, but that's, that's my gold coin. And then I also have these, which came from... Um, other other Ghibli sets, I think one came from Mooncard, but I can't really remember now. Um, but these are kind of cool. So when I first got them, I thought this was all it was. was it was just a, a card with a kind of cool die-cut window there and a numbered, you know, this one's numbered to 250. And I'm like, oh, that's really neat. It's a, kind of a cool card. I, I don't really get what's so special about it, but, you know, great, it's numbered. I, I loved it. And then a viewer told me to open it and that it's magnetic. And it is. And so it's actually a magnetic booklet with a kind of like a poster, like a scroll poster of that uh, movie, whichever one. So this is the Raccoon War. And it's two-sided. So the other side also has uh, stills from the film. So you can see it's kind of like a wallet or like a book booklet like that. But then it all kind of snaps together with magnets. Really kind of a cool, cool card. Uh, and I, again, I, I think I pulled that from either a Mitaka set or a Fantastic uh, Journey set, maybe, or or Moon Card. I just can't remember now. Um, but then this is another one. So this is to 200. And it's another one where I was like, uh, what? <laughs> and so this is a My Neighbor Totoro. And I thought, again, like, oh, it's just, you know, it's just a card. But no, it's actually another magnetic booklet. So this one has very cool piece of artwork from Totoro in it and then the back of course has uh, some images like before so just absolutely beautiful beautiful artwork and such a neat card concept so I kind of wanted to show those before we dig into the boxes um, but, but now let's get into it uh, so like I said this is the original original set 
so this, you know, <laughs> it, it's uh, only five packs left, and that's that's like all all that I have, and maybe all that exists in the world because there just isn't a lot of this left anymore. Um, but that is the very original set. Came in a very a really cool box like this. Uh, there were 20 packs in there when I started, so this box actually is pretty like a really good value as well. Um, and then let's look at this one next. So this kind of cardboardy box here. This is um, one of the pre-release sets of Mitaka Museum. All the Mitaka Museum sets had a map to the museum on the back. Um, they were made by Cartoon House, all of those. Uh, great publisher. They make the Star Wars pre-release set as well. Um, unfortunately, I, I'm pretty sure none of these are licensed. And in this case, I have one pack left. So Sorry, it's all I have. We're going to open it today. We'll check it out, but it, I don't have any more. And I, I can't help you buy more because I just don't think anyone has these anymore. Um, but what a cool box design too, right? I mean, even just this box is, uh, you know, a collector's item almost, right? And then this is MH02, another Mitaka Museum set, also by Cartoon House. Uh, this one I have some more packs in than, than that one, but still not that many. Uh, but we will open what I have. Three. Six packs of that. I am not sure what happened to this thing. It looks like it got kind of destroyed in there, but that's just the tray anyway. Another uh, gorgeous box design. That is MH02. I actually never bought the MH03 set. I remember when it came out, I was just kind of angry because they didn't make the coins anymore in it. And uh, now I'm kicking myself because you can't buy it anymore. Now, this box design is just absolutely fantastic. I love this set. Um, this is Moon Card's set. Uh, Moon Card, of course, the company that made uh, the Sailor Moon Cards that I love. Um, but they also made this Studio Ghibli set. Again, uh, bootlegs, but still fantastic uh, bootlegs, and just, I mean, such an incredible box design. I mean, where are you going to find art like this? Uh, there's the Moon Card logo, Ayao Miyazaki uh, logo there at the top, all kinds of images of him. I'll hold on to these boxes, actually, for a few days, so if um, if anyone out there wants wants these boxes let me know I, I we can maybe figure out a way that i could send them to you if you're in america it's probably pretty cheap for me to send these if you're in europe you might have to help me with shipping uh, but I, I wouldn't charge you money i would just send them to you if you want them for your collection or something so i'll keep all those boxes for a few days uh, after i post the video but in a while i probably will have to get rid of some because i can't keep all the boxes um, i already keep like a lot of i keep way too many boxes here uh, so i can't keep all of them but, uh, but I'll, I'll hold on to them for a bit just in case anyone's interested uh, you can either leave a, leave a comment on the video or uh, there's a contact on the website or you can email me it's tradingcardarchivist at gmail.com or, or just, like I said, leave a comment and I'll, I'll tell you the email address there and you can send it. So here we go. We'll check these out. These again were the, these are the original cards. They're kind of old now, uh, but still a fantastic uh, set of trading cards. Like really, really a nice one. Um, they go through the stories of the different films. So they'll be, if you put the cards all in order, they kind of show the story of, of the movies, which is very cool in a binder, I think. Uh, SSR here is the base, so this is a base card from the set. And I think you get, yeah, you get five in each pack. So again, this first set was quite a good value, although the stock is a little thin. So these aren't, you know, those those like really, really luxurious thick cards. We'll see those in the other packs, uh, but this original set didn't, didn't have that. Oh, there's a Spirited Away. Another secret world of Arietti, which I still don't think I've seen. <laughs> I keep meaning to go watch it. I watched The Boy and the Heron the other day, and I mean, that movie had a lot of really famous voice actors. Uh, don't get me wrong. I mean, even like Dave Bautista was in there and uh, other famous people. <laughs> there were a lot of famous actors, I'm sure. Um, but 
yeah, I, I didn't like it that much, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, it, you know, it was charming in some ways, but also kind of weird in a lot of ways, too. Uh, so yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't like that as much. Okay, we have pulled a very good card here, so I'm gonna put that to the side. Um, I... I'm going to be honest, I did not know there were numbered cards in this set. I've opened a lot of packs of these and never pulled a numbered card before. Uh, but that is a numbered card right there. And it's a spirited away, so that's even better. Oh, we got a dupe. I'll put that over here. Another spirited away. Spirited away is a great film. I, I, I think it's probably my favorite of them all. Uh, Totoro maybe is better, but... Uh, Spirited Away certainly looks the coolest, although I gotta be honest, it's a little scary. <laughs> like, it gets kind of scary with the lady and the birds, and she has that baby with the... and then the three-headed thing. Uh, it's a little scary, even for me, and I'm, I'm an adult. So here we go, this is an LP. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Castle in the Sky LP. Absolutely beautiful. And so that is Castle in the Sky, number 150 of 222. Actually, some awesome uh, foiling on the, or uh, texture work on the back, too. That's an LP. So I'm going to go ahead and get that offloaded because it is, of course, a numbered Ghibli card. And uh, yeah, huh. I was not expecting that. Again, I, I know there are numbered cards in the other sets because I pulled some, but I, I did not know this had numbered cards in it until just, just now. I was, I was I was today years old when I learned that. Because I don't don't actually know how old I am. I think I'm forty three. I think I'm forty three. I might be forty four. It could be forty two also. I'm sorry. I think I'm forty three. I was born in 1981, so someone could do the math. That's a dupe as well. So because you get five five cards in every pack, you do end up with uh, a good number of dupes from this particular set. Although it's not so bad. In fact, here I put I put some dupes right next to each other again there, didn't I? Let me move that to the side here. Sorry. Try to be better. Uh, there's another tutorial. We got two tutorial URs. Excellent, excellent. Very cool. This right here. And yeah, we'll just keep uh, we'll just keep rolling through these. Uh, I don't want to go too fast because I do love these cards, but at the same time, we do have a bunch of packs to look at here. Well, unfortunately, we only had like one pack from a few of the uh, boxes, two of those boxes. But that's what's gonna happen, I think. They just it, it there just aren't that many, right? And I, I know that probably a copyright claim came against AliExpress because there were a lot of these available. I mean, there was a time where you could, you know, buy any of like 15 different Ghibli boxes from hundreds of vendors, right? And then kind of, you know, a week went by and there were like zero. <laughs> so so a copyright claim definitely came through and wiped them all out. And I, I think we're only just now getting a few new ones. Uh, and honestly, the new ones, even though they don't look that great, they do look licensed to me. So it does seem like like one was licensed by an Italian museum uh, and another was, uh, I think, just licensed. So uh, I think they're official sets, at least, but they're, uh, that are showing up now. And like I said, the Trading Card Collector, uh, another YouTube channel, I've done some videos with them before. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, he, he has bought... A lot of those boxes from a store because I saw them arranging that on the Discord. So what's cool about our Discord is there are vendors now, like AliExpress vendors, hang out in our Discord, like vendors from China, right? 
and they're in our Discord, and they answer questions, they show us flyers ahead of time, uh, but also they help us um, to buy products that are harder to get, like <laughs> on AliExpress, right, or that maybe aren't listed because they just don't know that people want them, right? So they, they exist in China, but they aren't getting listed because no one knew anyone wanted them. And now they're like, oh, you guys want those? I have like six boxes of it here. And we're all just staring at them like, why aren't you listing that, you crazy person? Uh, and so it's been really cool to have that uh, available to us. And so it's through one of those vendors that they're doing that group buy of a case of the Ghibli set. And so I think what they're doing is they're going to ship it to like one person and then ship it reship it from there to everyone who bought uh who bought a pack of boxes from it um okay so we yeah i'm so i was thinking should i open more we need to kind of clean the table a little bit here so let's maybe clear off all but the best of these and then we can uh, make some room for some more here we are going to need a lot of, well, not that much, but a little bit more. Uh, how about we, I want to keep like one of the SSRs, even though all the SSRs are just kind of scenes. I want to keep like one there so that we have an example. So we'll keep that one right there too. And then of course the LP we'll keep right there. Um, this pack is a heavy heavy pack so i think i'm going to save that pack for the end but we'll open this one next so this is um let me see if it says on the back it doesn't say on the back but i'm pretty sure this is mh this is mho2's pre-release set so this is the pre-release of that of, uh, of that and you'll see that it uses similar designs to what we just opened because these are part of the same series, although this one's much later in the series. Uh, but you'll see very similar design work. See what I mean? Like, kind of a similar style. Um, but now we're getting very uh, thick cards. So, like, really thick card stock. And honestly, very, very beautiful uh, cards, too. Awesome print quality on them. And the URs, too, is the same kind of style, but much thicker cards. So those almost look like they're in the same set, right? But that's that's actually a very old version of it, and that's actually a pretty new version of it. So let's open these next. And again, we'll save that just because it's super heavy. I don't really know. I honestly don't know what could be in there that could be that heavy. I hope it's some sort of coin. But it could just be a regular card, too. A moon card makes some very extravagant cards, uh, like their Sailor Moon cards. Uh, some of them come with this like acrylic sort of dome on top, and they are beautiful cards, but they're heavy, and they're just URs. Like they're not even the highest rarity cards or anything. They just happen to be really heavy. Uh, so here's MHO2 proper, but you can see again it's a very similar style, just a much much thicker card. They're spirited away. So the animals serving dumplings there who themselves look like dumplings. But don't eat them, please. Oh, what? So with these, you can always tell from the back that they're special, right? Because that's the normal back. That's not the normal back. So whatever that is, is pretty special. But this is the normal back. And that's Totoro again. Why don't I move these down so that I can make room for whatever this is. And it is a IP. Ooh, an IP. That's a spirited away IP with the one of the demons. Or what are they called? Uh, not demons, but uh, unclean things, right? It comes in and gets cleaned up. And when they... When they wash it, there's like nothing left anymore. Man, that is a beautiful card. I just love the kind of gold uh, or uh, the lace lace lattice work on the edges there. Beautiful stuff. Not numbered, but 
Absolutely gorgeous card. I'm sorry again that these aren't available, but I can't hide them forever, right? Like, I had to open these, I had to get them. Uh, really, I want to just clear the shelves for more stuff, but... Uh, yeah, we have to... We have to look at stuff sometimes that is sold out everywhere. I know people love these because every time I post a video of my Ghibli cards, people are always like, where can I buy those? Oh my god. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but you can't. <laughs> it's like you could have, but it would have been a long time ago. There's that. She's the one, right? She's the like really creepy lady. Scary lady, I guess. I don't know. She scares me. <laughs> Oh, we got one of the uh, CPs, I think. I think that's what that one is. Which usually CP stands for like combined power. Uh, but in this set, I think it actually stands for character portrait. Because it's a like a portrait of the character. There's oh, Spirited Away. Awesome. Nice little CP there. So it's a CP card. I clean up a little bit. This is my third video of the day, and uh, I've done like two very long videos. So this, uh, I'm a, a little, I wouldn't say tired, but I have been talking for a long time. But to help me out, my wife made me this amazing uh, hibiscus tea. I've been drinking a uh, hibiscus uh, iced tea. Actually, she made. And she makes that from flowers that we grow in our own garden outside. So, last pack, and I mean last because I do not have any more of this. Don't ask. I don't. I looked. I really look. I like looked on all the shelves. I really don't have any more. Sometimes I say that and then I'll like find another one the next week. That's not going to happen this time because I, I really looked hard and I cannot find it. Such a fun movie. I, re I really like the Spirited Away movie. I should watch it again. Oh, but I can't watch it at night or I'll get scared. <laughs> so I'm kind of weird. Okay. Uh, we have one more car one more pack to open and it is... I can't even, like, I should weigh this thing. It's super, super heavy. Very thick, too. Uh, I hope it's something really special. If not, I'm sorry for getting everyone's hopes up. Um, but I, I think it will be. I think it will be. Oh, you can see it's, like, encased in there, whatever it is. All right, we're, we're in for some kind of treat today. I think it, it might be one of those magnetic booklets, maybe. Oh gosh, this is, what is this? Oh gosh, okay, oh my gosh. Oh, it's one of the tapes. <laughs> so it's it's not actually that's it's not actually that rare of a card. Um, here's an SSR, so let's look at what we got here. This is an SSR from Moon Card. And you can see it's using artwork that isn't actually from the film. So that art is like kind of, uh, storyboard art that Miyazaki did. Uh, he actually does all the storyboards, well, he used to do all the storyboards for his movies. Uh, and when the Academy of Motion Arts Museum opened here in Los Angeles, uh, its very first uh, opening exhibit was all the Miyazaki artwork. And so I got to go and see it all there in person. It was very cool. So there is some film cells from uh, Totoro. Is it Totoro? No, that's, sorry, that's not Totoro. What is that? Wind Rises? Or, oh no, that's um, Howl's Moving Castle. I'm so sorry. Gosh, man, I feel really bad. I'm sorry. Everyone should just, uh, don't, don't listen to me. But yeah, that's from Howl's Moving Castle. Okay, gosh, I'm so sorry. That's not... I thought it'll kind of figure out where to put it. I'll put it right there, maybe. 
And then, yeah, this is what uh, one of the tape cards. Uh, I had never seen one before. I'm kind of afraid to open it. But they're not actually that rare. It's just that it's made of acrylic, and so it's uh, printed in a different way. Like I said, Moon Card will do stuff like that. Uh, and it is actually has a coating on it. Um, but it's not numbered, so you can really tell that it isn't, uh, you know, super, super rare or anything. Uh, but let me pause. I'll try to get the film off this, and then I'll come right back. Uh, but let me pause and get the film, and then I'll, I'll show you what this really looks like. I am back. Sorry, that always takes me a lot longer than it should. Uh, but it's just this kind of a material. So they protect the, the acrylic with these kind of pieces of film. So that it won't get scratched at all. But you can see how much nicer it looks then. It's such a beautiful piece. And so that's a My Neighbor Totoro acrylic uh, tape card. And that goes extremely well with my My Neighbor Totoro gold coin. But I would say my Studio Ghibli pulling career has been quite successful. I've enjoyed it uh, quite a bit. <laughs> I do wish they would make more, though. As you can see from the title of the video, this is kind of a, a call to manufacturers. Hey, publish more Ghibli sets. I don't care if they're bootlegs. Of course, if they're licensed, that's even better. Um, but just make sure they're this cool. Like, make sure they have this kind of awesome, awesome stuff. I was just going to put that back in there. Try and keep it safe. I don't know if that'll work or not. That'll, that'll be that. So there's my tape SLP. I uh, got some got a nice film cell here, and yeah, Studio Ghibli sort of showcase. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video today. I'm sorry if it just made you really jealous. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but there are some beautiful cards available. Of course, the movies are just gorgeous, so it's not a surprise. Um, but for now, I will say goodbye, and uh, yeah, have a great rest of your week. Bye bye.